Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to create Facebook pixel for view cut event. So without any further delay, let's see how we can do it. Okay, so you can see um, one of the Google Tag Manager account of mine so in the previous video i have shown you how to set up facebook pixel for add to cart event okay and those two events i have shown you in the previous video facebook base pixel and facebook view content so if you haven't watched the previous videos i would suggest you to watch the video first and then come to this video okay so we'll be setting up view cart event for this website you can see over here so this is an e-commerce site so I'm gonna set up Facebook view content event for this site, okay? So before creating all the necessary variables, triggers and tags, and to show you something, like if I go to the preview section, then I need to provide my website URL and I'm gonna click on connect. Okay, so for view content or add to cut event, we cannot uh, select multiple products at a time like I'm going to show you. So if I select one of the products, so I can view the product once at a time. Okay. I cannot view multiple products at a time. Similarly, if I want to add this product to the card, then I have to uh, add this product to the card for once, you know. And if I want to uh, added this product to the cart again then I have to go back and add to cart again okay so if I click on add to cart so you can see one product has been added to the cart okay perfect but if I select another product like I'm gonna select for example this one most probably okay and if I add this product to the cart, then if I click on view cart, then you can see we have multiple products available here. Like previously, I have added some product to the cart. That's why it is 200, 150, and 130. So total is 680. So we can uh, view multiple products uh, to the view cart event, you know. That's why we need uh, multiple arrays schema. So if I use single array schema, then our view cut event will not be uh, creating or will not be working properly. So for view cut initiate checkout and purchase event, we need to use this multiple data layer schema. Okay, so let's see how we can do it. So I'll go to the tag manager. First of all, I'll go to the variable section and I'm going to create necessary variables for view cut event. So the variable would be content type, content name, content IDs, value, currency, you know. So let's do it. Okay. So I have created uh, all the necessary variables for add to cut and view content event. And this is for single data layer schema. That's why uh, the single array will not be working for view cut, initiate checkout, and purchase event. That's why we need to create multiple arrays. Okay. So I'll click on new and I'm going to name the variable as uh, multiple array content. Content or product name, you might name it as per your requirements. Okay, multiple array. I might write array. Multiple array content name, and I'm going to choose variable configuration as custom JavaScript. Okay, and I'm going to copy this code from here. So, this is the product names custom javascript variable for passing multiple arrays okay so i'm going to copy this variable or copy this whole code from here and paste it over here okay perfect 
Then I'll click on save. Then I'll click on new. And I'm going to create another Java Street variable for product ID. So I'll name it as multiple array product ID. I decided, right? I'm going to choose variable configuration and click on custom Java script and copy the code from here. Okay, perfect. Then I will create a data layer variable for e commerce item. Okay, so I'm going to name this one. Commerce and items. Okay. Perfect. Then I'm going to choose data layer variable and if I go to the view cut section. I'm going to go to the data layer section and it is e commerce dot. So I scroll down a little bit, then I'll get items. So I'm going to copy the items from here. So if I copy item arrays from here, all the necessary parameters will be covered like item IDs, item name, item brand, price, item category, item variant, quantity, okay, ID. So I'm going to take e-commerce dot items okay perfect i'm gonna click on save then if i go to the translate section and i need to create uh, a variable for value because for add to cart and view content it was e-commerce dot price was value but uh, in the view cart checkout and purchase event we are going to be using this one e-commerce dot value as value e-commerce dot value you can see over here so this is the total amount of value okay perfect so i'll click on new and i'm going to write e-commerce hello Okay, so I'm going to choose variable configuration and choose data layer variable from here. And I'm going to collect the data layer variable from this section. So I'm going to copy e-commerce from here and put a dot because this is an object. So I'm going to collect value from here. So value is inside e-commerce object. That's why I have given dot over here. Then I'm going to paste value okay so i'll click on save and previously i have created uh, data layer variable for currency so i don't need to create it again so content type content name content id is value currency so all the variables has been created so let's create a new tag uh, sorry new triggers for view cut event so i'm going to click on new and name the trigger as view card trigger okay perfect so i'm going to choose trigger configuration and from there i'm going to be choosing custom event so if i go to the tag assistant and choose view card event from here then you can see the event name is view card so i'm going to copy the view card from here and paste it in the event name section and i'm going to click on save okay perfect so we have created a trigger for view card event. Let's create uh, the tag for Facebook view card event. So I'm gonna click on new and name the tag as Facebook view card. Okay, so from the tag configuration, I'm gonna be choosing Facebook pixel and I have created a constant variable for Facebook pixel ID. So I'm gonna choose it from here. Okay, so you can see over here, Facebook pixel, okay? And from the standard section, you will not 
be able to see an event called view cut okay so if i scroll down base view add payment info add to card add to this list complete registration contact donate find location initiate checkout lead purchase schedule search start tile submit application subscribe view content so no events are matching with view cut that's why i'm going to be choosing custom from here and i will name the event as view card okay perfect then from the object property section i'm gonna add some property over here okay perfect so i'm gonna be using the property name from here so the first property name would be event name so i'm gonna use event name in the property name section and as the property value i'm gonna be giving as view card okay perfect then the next property name would be content type okay perfect so i'm gonna copy content type and paste it in the property name section and the content type would be product so i'm gonna copy product from here and paste it over here and the next property name i'm gonna be using is content name so i'll paste content name in the property name section and we have created a custom javascript variable for content name okay so i'm gonna be choosing this one from here okay so multiple array content name so this one is for content name and next one would be content id so i'm going to copy content ids from here and paste it over here and i have already created a custom javascript variable for product id or content id so you can see over here multiple array product ids okay perfect then the next parameter name would be value so i'm gonna give the property name as value and i have created a data layer variable for value okay so i'm going to be choosing this from here then if i scroll down or scroll up then you will see e-commerce value so this is for value okay and the last one i'm going to be using is currency so i'm going to copy the currency and paste it in the property name section and i have already created a data layer variable for currency so i'm going to be choosing currency from here so item currency is basically a data layer variable for currency okay perfect so we have given all the necessary property name and their values okay so i need to choose a trigger i have already created a trigger for view card so i'm going to be choosing this one i'll click on save okay perfect so we have created a tag for facebook view cart event so for checking whether it is working or not i'm going to click on preview section okay perfect i'll click on continue then if i choose one of the products for example i'm going to be choosing this one this one as well okay and i will add this product to the cart okay so if i click on this product and i'm gonna click on view cart i go to the tag assistant section Let's do it again. So I'll click on preview. Okay. 
I'm going to click on preview again. I'll provide my website URL. I'll click on connect. So I'm going to choose one of the products from here. And if I add this product to the cart, and I'm going to click on view cart. And if I go to the tag assistant, then you can see over here, Facebook view cart event is firing. And if I go to the view cart event and go to the variable section, then you will see multiple arrays are showing over here in the e-commerce item section. So you can see over here, so e-commerce value 1030. So let's go to the total variable section. So the total value is 130. You can see over here. So all the products values are showing. You can see over here. So this is for 600. 150, 130, 150. So all combined is 130. Okay. So if I go to the item ID section, you can see over here item value. So multiple array content name. So we have purchased four items. That's why it is showing four items over here. And uh, their product IDs. Uh, I have purchased four products. That's why it is showing four product IDs. Okay. So everything is working fine. Everything is working properly. Yeah. So hopefully you have liked our video. You know. So yeah. That's it for this video. If you like our video. Then you can subscribe our channel. Follow our page. You have a good day. Bye bye.